Hi, how are you, Amanda, sane artist? We're gonna break things down. Let's keep this simple. Let's do some mom makeup. Okay, so when you're ready to try Saint Makeup Cream Base 3D Foundation, I just need a makeup free selfie. That's it, just face a window a couple steps back. I just need indirect sunlight to see all the tones. That's it, and I'll send you the recommendations. When I decided to try Saint over two years ago, I got a huge list, just like what I send you guys, and then I broke it down to what I was comfortable with, starting with, when I just wanted to see if this makeup was what I thought it might be. And it was. <laughs> so here's what I started with. This is the four basic setup, your main highlight, your brightening, your contour, and a blush. I did also add a bronzer and then just a couple of shadows. This is Rome and this is Claire, two really pretty colors. So I'm gonna do just a basic everyday look and I'm gonna break it down. So I'm gonna use the blush and bronzer brush because you can get your basic setup, but you could also get a brush and bronzer and all you're doing is buying your brush and getting a $4 bronzer instead of a $14 bronzer. Okay, that's a pretty good deal. In my book, that's what I call basically free. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep my face with setting spray. I have oily skin. So I prep my face with setting spray. I use Charlotte Tilbury. You do not need, when you're using cream makeup, you do not need to sit and wait for anything to dry when you're setting with, a, when you're prepping with a setting spray. Your face can still be dewy and you can go in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the short end of my brush, I'm gonna go into June, which is my main highlight, and I'm just gonna bring this down here, just on the lower part of my face, just right here, and just even out the tones, and I just stipple this in, and I'm just doing a really light coverage. Now, if I wanted more full coverage, I would just tap in a few more times and build it to where I want it, and that's what's nice is that you don't need different makeups to do different things. You don't need to buy a bottle for full coverage. You don't need to buy a bottle for your light coverage days. You don't need to buy a bottle of tinted moisturizer for those days. Everything right here, I can mix this with my moisturizer. I can mix this with my SPF. I can put this on as a light coverage makeup and I can put this on as a full coverage makeup and it's all the same palette. And that's a nice thing is you're not digging around in a bag, waiting and trying to find what you need to find. All right, next up on the list is my brightening highlight. I use Versailles. I'm just gonna tap this in between my brows right here, make like a little spot. And then I'm gonna tap a little more and I'm gonna bring it down my nose, onto my cupid's bow, and then onto my chin. And all I'm doing right here is creating brightness, light reflecting, bringing the brightness in. But when I put it right here, I'm gonna blend it out into that main highlight that I had already put on. And what this does is it creates an even skin tone with dimension. And that's all contouring is also. It's adding a shadow tone where you have natural shadowing and then blending it in to give you one even skin tone with dimension. That's really all you're doing is creating dimension and an even skin tone all at the same time because everything here is foundational coverage. All right, I'm putting into my contour and I'm putting in my shadow tones and I'm just adding this to the two side sides of my forehead where there's natural shadowing and then I'm going to bring it together. That's it. I have a nice even skin tone with dimension with foundational coverage and I don't have a main highlight here because you don't need to. It's about meeting that brightening to that contour which then melds together and evens it out. It's glorious. You don't need to use excess product where you don't need it. I'm gonna use my finger and I'm gonna go down the side of my nose. I'm going down the top side. So it's not in the middle, It's but it's not on the side. We're creating shadowing where there's already shadowing. I'm gonna square off my nose. I mean, who doesn't like a nice, beautifully structured nose? I'm gonna take my brush and I'm just gonna tap onto this. And I'm gonna blend it down and blend it out. Go around and up, around and up, just like that. I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna go down the side of my nose and just blend that brightening into the contour. I have a bump in my nose and on this side, I feel like it always wants to mess with my makeup. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go back into that contour and I'm gonna contour my cheeks. And so I'm just gonna come into that shadow hollow and I'm just gonna tap it in and just kind of blend up. That's it, and you just blend it where you want it. I like to under blend it so you still can kind of see it, but 
it's not super bold. I don't want to blend it away and then it's a waste of product. So I under blend it so you can still see where it is. And then I'll go into my blush and I'll go right over top on the top. So I have my contour and then I put my blush right here. I always tap and then I'm going to drape that up. I'm using rosewood as my blush. I really like it. It's a pinky warm blush that adds a beautiful flushness. Okay, same thing over here, just over the top. So contour up on top is my blush. Drape it up, bring it down, and I just love it. But I just wanted a nice light coverage makeup for the day. I'm gonna use my finger. I'm gonna go into my brightening. Now, this looks a little scary and as you notice, when I went down the middle of my face, it was the wrong color. Well, that's what brightening is. It's a color that's lighter than your actual skin tone so that it causes that brightening. If I used it the same as my main highlight, it wouldn't have the same effect. I'm gonna take this little, little end of the brush and I'm just gonna tap these back and forth, bring them together, and I'm gonna create a nice bright under eye. Look at that, and it just, again, is creating lightness, brightness. It's melding with the other colors that I'm using here and creating that even skin tone with dimension. So I have that brightness under my eyes and that's it. I'm going to go over to my bronzer on the bottom layer. I'm gonna grab it on the fluffy end and I'm gonna go right here because my neck is always lighter than the rest of my face. I'm gonna add a little more and I'm gonna tap here, here, and then right up here. And I'm just gonna blend bronzer. I wanted bronzer in my palette when I started because anytime I do makeup, there's always bronzer. I like the warmth that it gives. I like to pull on the darker side. Instead of using your foundation to give you that color that you want, but not the color you are, you don't do that with your foundation and have that big difference in color. You do that with bronzer. All right, so I'm going to go back over to my brightening and I'm just going to tap a fingerprint on each eye. I'm going to take that short end and I'm going to blend this out and get it all over lash to brow. Really easy. This is just giving me a blank canvas to start with. I'm going to grab my eyeshadow brush and I am going to go in to Rome, this nice champagne color, and I'm going to set my eye with it. This is a really nice shimmer because it's a light fleck, which means it's not like a glitter. It's not a heavy shimmer. So you can put this from lash to brow and it's not going to look like you're going to the disco. So I'm going to set that cream that I put on my lid with this shimmery powder. It's going to hold the, that light shimmer, but the powder of the eyeshadow is going to give me a really pretty surface to blend on instead of needing to get an extra color, like a pow another powder, a cupcake. You could do that with a light fleck like Rome, Sabrina, and even Drift. I'm using Claire. I'm just gonna tap into Claire, and I'm just gonna put that up here on my crease and then up on my brow, just like that. Here's a fun trick when you're doing this. If you just wanna start with one shade, okay, or two shades with a, with a nice champagne shimmer like this, do it. Go ahead and do a nice windshield wiper wash, bringing that up on that brow bone for your transition color, okay? Go in some more, add it to wherever else you're wanting it, and keep building it and deepening it. All right, we're going to deepen that. So now it looks like two colors. I've got this nice lightness, and then I have this builded, builded, is that a, is that a word? It's a word today. We're building this up. <laughs> we're going to build our pink up so that it almost looks like two colors. You can then take your setting spray. All right, we're gonna spray the little end of the eyeshadow brush, get it a little bit wet. Got it a little bit wet. I'm gonna go back into that pink color and this is going to deepen it even more. And I'm gonna go just along my lash line here and give this a really nice deeper pink. It is now three colors out of one tin. Flip it to the fluffy end. And I'm just going to blend that and I'm just going to have this really pretty pink tone. I'm going to go under my lashes with that deeper pink and then up. And it's almost like a, just a nice subtle, it just gives dimension. It gives dimension. Go back into that rome color and I'm just going to touch up the lids here for a little extra shimmer. You could even go into your brightening, pop a dot, pop a dot. Go into that 
realm color and go right over top of it. And it emphasizes that shimmer and makes that one two colors too. I'm just gonna blend it out. I'm gonna grab our mascara. I use Bare Minerals Lash Topia and I love it. And I'm just gonna add a really nice light layer of mascara. I just wiggle at the root and pull. And this just creates a nice fast, I just did my whole face in 10 minutes. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Adding that little bit, and this is my nice, I'm gonna go drop the kids off, go to the grocery store, run a couple of errands this morning. But I wanted to feel human. Not like my, the way I feel in the morning, like a troll under the bridge, paying the toll. You could just grab any kind of gloss you want, pop that on, and you're good. Gloss, chapstick, it's just a really nice everyday look. You can go to the grocery store, check the post office, drop off your kids, go pick up your kids. I don't know, whatever it is you gotta do today. This is a nice everyday look and I did it in 10 minutes and I talk a lot, so it's probably less than 10 minutes. That's my fast face. I didn't have a lot of time. Have a great day.